Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make a great night, folks. Create new agreements based on respect and love. Take the responsibility to make new agreements with those you love. If an agreement doesn't work, change the agreement, create a new one, and use your imagination to explore all the possibilities. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 66, NASDAQ up 55, S&Ps up 11, gold contract up $2.80, traded at 1880 an ounce. You get silver down 13 cents, $23.74 an ounce, light sweet crude up 57 cents, $75.20 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down 19 ticks, trading 114 flat, 30-year up full point, plus 20 ticks at 128.09, and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 245 ticks, trading out at 103.244, Euro 107, again 132.18, British pound 121 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. We're going to go to the futures first because looking at this, when I just did this update, you know, because the bottom line, we did the update. And on the update, there's no doubt that you've gone down, you've rejected lower price, you're going to have lighter volume. That sets up a market that wants to go higher tomorrow. Now, that being said, I want to look at this because if we give it up at the close, it is going to make a difference, even though we're up 13 points. So... Let's see what we got here. So if we take first from yesterday till today, okay, so you didn't even, you did just barely over 50% retracement from yesterday to today. So what that says, just so you can, in, inside the expansion contraction Fibonacci theory, that says that you can go break the lows. Okay, now let's pull this back. Let me see what we got here. So your first spike, there you go. So your first spike, that was at 10.10 this morning. You had 56,000 contracts. You tested that with 17,000. And when you do this, folks, if, you, if you're intraday trading, I mean, this is, it's always great when, you know, if I was, had been trading this and this was coming up, I would be just sitting there waiting. Particularly, you see, you see how before it got to that spike, how there's no volume, no volume, no volume. Then you just wait. And that's... That is saying, yeah, the same. We can come right back to 38, 30, oh, 38.97. Yeah, 38.97. And we're at 30, yeah, 30. Yeah, that would be right. We could, so we can go negative 12 points. Let me go put, look at the NQs. So if we look at the NQs, What we've done looks like the same type of retracement. Okay, so the this is now see this is going to get interesting. This start happened yesterday. The Nasdaq now was stronger than the S and P's yesterday, and is stronger than today. You can see what happened here. This we did a 0.618 retracement. Okay, so 0 0.618 is saying that okay, you're not going to bust the lows. Now we take a look at this. We pull this a little bit closer. Same setup though. You see the spike. The spike there had 20,000 contracts, and then we tested that with 5,000. Then we just came down with 8,000. Yeah, this is going to be, this is game. Game is down here, man. This is going to be interesting. 60 minutes here. Game is uh, 11,120. Now, let me see this. So, let's go back to here, because I want to see what, how the setup would be, what we would actually be doing. Yeah, I see, I see what's going on here. Okay, so, so picture, what you have here, folks, is this. If we come back to the lows, that is saying that we're going nowhere but down because that's not going to be a rejection of lower price. If we close right where we are right now, that, to me, that's a rejection of lower price. So it's going to be pretty cool watching this whole, this whole thing shakes out. And, you know, you, hey, we'll, we'll find out where it goes. Some of the higher volume stocks we'll take a look at out here today. You have uh, Tesla is down at 260. You got Amazon up a buck 90. We have uh, 
Nvidia's up a buck forty. Warner Brothers still on the run. I like that. Up seventy four cents. We'll pull that up in a second. Um, Bank of America up sixteen. Coinbase up three dollars, and they're laying off twenty percent of their help. That's pretty wild. If we go into the Dow Industrials, we take a look at the movers inside the Dow Industrials. Point wise, here Goldman's putting twenty positive points. Visa twenty, uh, Caterpillar seventeen. Taken away from it. United Health minus forty. Boeing minus twenty, uh, minus twelve. Inside the NDX one hundred, the strength versus the weakness inside the NDX. You got. Uh, look at that. Warner Brothers is the first one up. That's pretty intense. Up 6.5%. Netflix is up 4%. Lululemon, that's a dog. Up 3.4%. IDEX up 3.4%. Taken away from it. Illumina down 6.7%. Tesla's down 2.5%. Rivian 2.2%. And Workday 2. So let's go over to Tesla for a second and see what we have happening inside Tesla. So, nothing much actually. If this is the only bounce Tesla can get, it'll be, like, incredible, actually. And we go take a look at the IWM. So small caps out here. What are we doing with these small caps? Let's take a look. Oh, that's not a good signal. Small caps are... Yeah, see, this is, this is what you don't want. <laughs> because what this is, again, this is like a little small lost engulfing on the way up. And we'll see whether we get a contraction of volume. You know? See, this, this gets interesting, particularly in, in the aspect that um, that one, the small caps, went too far. If the small caps had just rejected at lower price what they did and then just didn't try to take out the high, it would have been a better situation. And see, when you, when you go lower, when you take out a high like that, we don't know what it's doing. We don't know, okay, is that taking out a high on light volume or is that a rejection of price in light volume? So I basically just go somewhere else that I have more conviction on the way that I think the market moves. Dow Industrials are up 105, NASDAQ up 63, S&P's up 16. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.